Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So today you're joining me down at Taunton Land Rover with this Land Rover 130, which we're actually borrowing for the weekend. So this weekend is our Cars and Coppers event. We've got a Cars and Coppers rally, and I thought I'd poach one of the dealers to see if we can take a car of theirs to promote and use for our rally. So yeah, what do you think of the Land Rover 130? Yeah, sick. It's a proper cool car. So Leon um, at Taunton Land Rover just shown us around it, told us all the features. Um, I'm gonna use it over the weekend, do some content, take it to Cars and Coppers, show everyone what's, what it's all about and then we're going to do the rally on Sunday from Race World Indoor Car into West Bay to Portland and then back to King's Arms Otterton. So I think what I'll do over this weekend, film as much content as we possibly can, um, take it on the rally and see how we get on with it. So massive thanks to the guys at Taunton Land Rover for lending me this car for the weekend. Um, so yeah, let's see what we think. Right, so you're joining me inside the Land Rover Defender 130. So obviously I collected this yesterday at Taunton Land Rover. So massive thanks to um, Martin Leach at Virtue Taunton Land Rover for loaning me this car for the weekend um, to do some content on. And obviously we're gonna take it up to Cars and Covers tomorrow and also take it out on the drive out rally. So yeah, big thanks to them for this. I'm obviously, I'm a big Land Rover fan. Well, I said big Land Rover fan, a big Range Rover fan, more so the Range Rover Sport SVR, which everyone who knows me or knows me for a little while um, would know that I'm absolutely in love with this car. But still, I do love the Land Rover range, especially Defenders, um, especially when a Defender looks like this, all in complete black spec. Um, a 130 wouldn't be my choice if I was to buy one of these just because it is so big. Um, I'd probably go for 90, something like the commercial or something like that. Um, Mr. Chasing Cars has got a Land Rover 90 in the Urban Kit, looks absolutely amazing. I'd probably go same spec as that um, if I was getting something like this. But what I thought I'd do is take you around in the Land Rover Defender 130 today and then just show you my thoughts on it, let you know about any things I don't like on it, more so probably the MPG range on this particular car. Obviously it's something completely different to what I'm normally used to, so I think, yeah, let's just go out on it and see what I think. So I'm down in Marsh Barton. I need to go and get some fuel in a minute. So it'll be interesting to see how much a tank costs um, in this car and what sort of range that we're getting out of it. But yeah, let's go head out and see what I think of the Land Rover Defender 130. Right, so I'm heading out in the Land Rover. Um, first impressions car, I've just seen an Aston Martin DBX and they crane it. Don't know what he was up to. Um, first impressions of the car, I actually really, really like it. Um, it is obviously the biggest Land Rover Defender you can get, so it's absolutely huge. So you've got to remember what you're in um, when you're driving around, especially when you're driving around town um, or parking up, um, just because you've got that. I'd, I'd be interested to see the dimensions, actually. I'm not too sure um, how much extra room you've got in this. I normally drive a Vauxhall Bavaro van for work, and I think that's long, but this is just next level. It feels really wide as well, which you probably expect in something like this. So when you're driving on the road, you do feel like you're all over the place. Um, but it is literally an absolute wafter. Um, it's so comfortable to drive. It's really nice. It's got everything in here um, that you possibly need. I don't know whether this is top spec. I don't know what the options are. Um, I'll try and figure it out later because I don't know what comes standard and what doesn't. Um, but this particular car has got like your adaptive cruise control. Um, got nice heated steering wheel today because the weather, although it's sunny out, it's still quite cold. Um, so it has got a few bits and bobs on this car um, that you probably don't have with a standard one. The only thing I'm trying to work out at the minute is to try and figure out the air conditioning system um, just because it seems to be all or nothing. Every time I put it on, it just goes max blowers. Um, the fan just is on max. Um, so I'm trying to figure out how to set that on the lowest fan setting, but I still haven't figured that out. Um, but overall, I really like this car. I'm just literally cruising now at 30 miles an hour. No strain on the engine or anything like that. It just feels really, really nice, which is, which is quite nice. Currently, I've done 1.1 miles and the MPG range is showing nine. So that isn't ideal. Um, and I've got 48 miles left in the tank, so I do need to go and fill up. So it'd be interesting to see how much this car is gonna actually cost me um, to fill up and how long it's going to last. We've got to do around 120 miles tomorrow um, on the rally. Um, and we won't be going quickly, but there is some quick sort of country coastal roads. So it'd be interesting to see what we actually get out of it. And then obviously I've got to drop it back up to Taunton on, on Monday morning to get it back up to Land Rover there. Um, but I think what we'll do first, 
we'll go and get some fuel and then we will see how much it's going to cost me to fill up the tank in this car. Um, this is the 400 brake horsepower version, so it has got a bit of poke in it to be fair. Right, so I'm just pulling up to Tesco's fuel station using a bit of SO. Um, gone on the days of people using Shell, everyone used to rave on about Shell fuel, but apparently. SO is the place to be. Um, where's the fuel gauge? I presume it's on this side. This is going to be interesting to park this up. It's going to take up some room next to the petrol pump. The good thing about this car as well, it's got 360 cameras, so if you're pulling somewhere quite close, just put the cameras on and you can work out exactly how far or how close you are, which is quite nice. This literally takes up most of the um, two bays for the fuel pump. So. Yeah, let's go and get some fuel and actually see how much it's going to cost me. This is the part of the weekend that I'm absolutely dreading. Um, so yeah, let's see. I'll put this down so you can see what it is. Hopefully you can see it. Where's my wallet? It'd be a shame if I haven't got that, wouldn't it? That's pay then. Well, that's all right because the fuel station will only allow me to put 120 pound in, so I can't put any more than that. So obviously it's capped at 120 because that is the spend limit at the fuel station. So I don't actually know until I start it up what, um, how much, it's left to fill if it's that if that's a full tank or not it did sort of sort of cap out around 118 so that might be a full tank or not but yeah let's hop in in a minute and let's see exactly how much fuel we've got left in the tank let's take a quick petrol station photo from the instagram The other thing is as well, it's petrol. For some reason I didn't expect it to be petrol. I know that sounds mad. So it's saying we've got 367 miles in the tank um, and it is actually on full. So it must be about 120 quid for a tank, um, which is quite cool. But yeah, I, did, I would have thought it would be diesel to be honest, but maybe that's why it's so thirsty and I'm just being dumb. Because maybe if it was diesel, it wouldn't be uh, absolute fuel guzzler um so yeah i'm quite quite happy with that i was a bit worried when i was putting petrol in out i thought hang on a minute is it actually petrol i'm going to start it up and then it turned out to be diesel so i'm just put a petrol sticker in it to wind me up um, and cost me an expensive weekend but yeah 120 quid it's not too bad costs about the same as my van to fill up um but i need to go and sort out a few bits of cars and couplers at home I think you've got to be careful of this car just whilst I'm onto it. Pulling out of this junction, you forget how long the bonnet is. So I'm currently pulling out of the petrol station. You've sort of got to remember that you've got like all of that length of bonnet in front of you. Um, it's not just case you've got a small front end, it's absolutely huge. And then like I say, you've got to remember that you've got a massive back end as well. That especially around roundabouts and cutting corners and stuff, you've really got to make sure you pull out first. Otherwise you're probably going to do some damage to your car or someone else's. Um, but yeah, so let's make a record of that. So we've got 367 miles. I'm only going to pot around today. Um, and also we'll be doing some mileage tomorrow. So it'll be interesting to see how much or how long a full tank at 120 quid will actually last. And I think when you're driving like this and put it into sport, when you start putting your foot down, drive around like that you definitely definitely are not getting 365 miles to a tank so we'll whack it back into drive um, and have a little cruise home get some stuff sorted out for cars and couplers and then we can head out later maybe get some reactions of what people think of the car 
um, and then we'll put it through its paces. I think over the weekend, might do a little challenge of like how many people you can fit inside a Land Rover Defender 130, just because it is so big. Um, I reckon you could fit a good amount of people inside this car. Alright, so I've been out and about cruising uh, most of the day. Well, actually, to be fair, I haven't been cruising most of the day. I had to stop off and do some cars and a couple of stuff. Um, and I've just been out and about for the last couple of hours, picked up a friend. Um, he really, really enjoyed this car. Everyone talks about this car when you stop. People just talk about it, ask what it is. Um, I think it's because it's so big. Um, people haven't necessarily seen the off, well, the bigger 130 version compared to the 110. Um, I know of a little off-road track, so I'm literally just coming through there now. Um, I tell you what, the cameras, you'll hear the sensors beeping off because um, we've got some, or the bush is quite close, but the camera system on this is absolutely amazing. I'll see if I can video a little bit of it to show, show you exactly how good that this is. I think if we go on here, we've got an off-road section um, for the cameras so you can see you can do the change in difference. Let me get my actual camera out. Right, so I've got my camera out. So I'll put some clips over the top of it. So we've got the on-road version. So it's got that um, degree of cameras and you can change all the different camera angles and stuff, which is absolutely amazing. And then you've got an off-road section. Um, so you can see a little bit closer and it tells you obviously you can change the um, suspension dampness and stuff like that which is quite cool. Um, let's see what this button is, what's this button here? So you can see underneath the bonnet, so that's in case you're going through water, but we'll keep it on road and then like you say, or like I say, you can see how close you are to the bushes and trees and all that sort of stuff. And this is the view ahead of me, so I think let's just have a little cruise through. I might see if I can change the, the settings um, I can't remember how you do it now. So I'm going to change the suspension to off-road height. Um, so that's going to naturally bring the car um, a lot higher. Um, I just want to see if we can change it to the mud set. And I'm just trying to see where exactly that is. So if we go run comfort, so we'll change it to grass, gravel, snow, mud rut, sand, rock crawl, waves. If we just put it in, we'll put it in mud ruts. So let's whack it into drive and let's head on through. Literally just wafting. I don't know whether it'll automatically break for me when I'm going downhill. I remember I'd done a Land Rover driving experience at West Country Land Rover driving experience, funnily enough, and I remember them saying about some of the settings, and it automatically breaks for you um, when you're going down hills, which is quite cool. So I don't know whether you can or not. There is a setting for it, which it is on. So, but literally, it's taken this with ease, which is nice. A nice little shortcut which will probably take me just as long but oh it's so nice although it's very tight so let's just get the uh, cameras on So that's this weekend done with the Land Rover Defender 130. So massive thanks to the guys over at Virtue Land Rover um, in Taunton for lending me this for the weekend. Um, it's been an amazing experience getting up close and personal with this car. Obviously we used it yesterday for the Cars and Cuppers event um, as well as the Cars and Cuppers rally. So we had really good feedback on this car. Obviously we had it on display yesterday um, at Race World Indoor Karting. Everyone really liked it. Obviously we used it for the rally as well, which is a really nice experience. We've done about 150 miles um, in this car in total for the rally. So we went from Race World Indoor Karting to West Bay to Portland and then back again. So 
yeah, I had a couple of people in the car, so we had Felix and Sam, they really liked it, said it was comfortable, managed to use all the features that this car has, um, and yeah, it's just really nice. It's got everything you possibly need um, for an everyday cruiser. Apart from, you're gonna need a big bank balance for the fuel, um, especially in this, um, just because it's three liter petrol and it's an absolute fuel guzzler. But yeah, overall, thanks to the guys at Tort and Rover, really appreciate it. Hopefully more car um, related content to come with them. Obviously I'm a big Land Rover fan, love my Range Rovers as well, so it'd be really nice to get some more content done in a Land Rover or Range Rover product. So hope you like this video. I don't quite know what it's gonna come out like, but I hope you enjoyed it despite that. Get